The Osmo Pocket 3 has been one of the most trending cameras that came out this 2024. And even though the Creator Combo came with its own set of filters, a lot of brands produce a number of compatible and more versatile options of those filters. One of those brands is Telesin, which is the sponsor for today's video. And I would like to thank them for sending me this filter set and another accessory which I will reveal later in the video. But before we move any further, I would like to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it and if you aren't subscribed yet, please do so we can educate and reach a lot more people. Now, if you're new to the action or portable camera market, Telesin is one of the most trusted third-party brands that produces accessories for action cameras from mounts, adapters, selfie sticks, clamps, tripods, batteries, and so much more. And the quality of their products are top-notch. Like I've said earlier, they made these ND filters for the Osmo Pocket 3, and you may wonder why do we need these filters for this camera. I agree that the out-of-the-box footage quality of the Osmo Pocket 3 is impressive. I've made a few videos which are shot entirely with the Pocket 3 using the standard profile, and the results are really impressive. And it's meant to be in standard for the most part. Since this is made for creators who want to have a camera that's not too complicated to operate, but can still deliver a high quality footage with a lightweight and compact form factor. Now let's have a crash course about these NDs. Well, ND filters are basically sunglasses for your lenses. That's it. They cut out a significant percentage of the light that comes through your lens and sensor. But why would you want to do that? Because the Osmo Pocket 3 is a lot more powerful than most people would think. This small camera has a pro mode in which filmmakers and videographers like me find very useful because we can use the manual setting options to set our desired ISO amount and shutter speed. Filmmakers often use the setting 24 fps and 1 50th of a second, and the ISO depends on the lighting of the location. Now, the standard rule is that your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. For example, if you wish to film in 60 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be 1 1 20th of a second. But right now, we are rounding up our shutter speed for 24 fps since we don't have 1 48th of a second on this particular camera. That's why we chose 1 50th of a second. Then for ISO, if you're filming outdoors at daylight, you can set it to 100 or even 50 if your camera has that option. Because a higher ISO range can brighten your image, but it can also produce noise in your footage. 24 fps at 1 50th of a second ensures that your footage has a natural motion blur that the human eye can see in real life. Here's a comparison. The first clip is set to 24 fps at 1 648th of a second. We bumped up the shutter speed for this one so we can compensate for the exposure without using the ND filter. It's a bit jarring to look at since it has a fast motion but lacks that motion blur. Now this second clip is at the proper setting of 24 fps and 1 50th of a second with the ND filter attached. Looks way more natural and less jarring to watch. Here's that same clip without the ND filter attached. Everything is blown out which is not ideal. Now these filters are easy to apply since they're magnetic. Now I gotta say the magnetic attachment on these filters are really really strong and you can even stack them if you want but your image will get darker and darker i guess that'll work if you're going to film the sun the one i'm using right now is the nd16 which is just perfect for the lighting in my location but some of the ones here are nd64 nd256 and a cpl filter which we're going to discuss later on but what i love about this is that it has a dedicated case that has a magnetic cover even the slots for the filters are also magnetic so these won't scatter around especially when they're stored inside your bag and as promised, let's talk about the CPL filter. This filter is like a magic filter since it can cut out reflections in your shot. Most usable for shots that has a window or any type of reflective glass. That's all I can really say about it, so let's go ahead and test it out along with the other ND filters in this set. Now that we're done with the tests and comparisons, let's head over to another essential accessory that you need in your arsenal. And that accessory is this multifunctional card reader. It's a durable case for your SD and micro SD cards, but it's also a card reader that has a built-in Type-C. So you can also use this to transfer and copy files from your phone. An essential feature, especially if you want to transfer your camera footage to your phone instantly and post it in your stories or reels. And as for ergonomics, it has this rubber grip so it won't slip out of your hands and has an included clip that you can attach to your pants or to your bag for quick access. So, quick recap. ND filters are important because they help us reach the proper exposure in our shot without compromising the proper settings of ISO, aperture, and shutter speed in our camera. And that's all for today, folks. If you have any other questions about this product, please leave those in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know how to make your Osmo Pocket 3 footage cinematic, 
click this video right here. See you there.